Welcome to Scent Australia Homes Element Diffuser. This video is designed to guide you through the setup and usability of your diffuser. Please be aware that the following safety precautions should always be followed to avoid injury and property damage. One, fragrance oil is designed for air scenting only and should not be ingested or placed on skin. If swallowed, please contact your national poison center. In the case that fragrance contacts the skin, wash with soap and water. If symptoms persist, seek medical assistance. Two, keep the diffuser upright when filled with oil to avoid leakage. Three, do not allow fragrance oil to come into contact with any surface. In the case that this occurs, clean spillage immediately. Four, keep the diffuser out of reach of children and animals. Five, always ensure the correct power supply is used. If the power supply is damaged, avoid use. Six, keep the diffuser away from fire or sources of ignition. Seven, do not use the diffuser in high temperature or wet environments. Eight, do not use flammable, explosive, corrosive, or other hazardous solvents with or around the diffuser. Nine, in the unlikely case that smoke, unusual odor, or abnormal sounds occur, seize use of the diffuser immediately and unplug from the source of power. 10. If the diffuser is not in use for a prolonged period, the main unit must be unplugged from the USB, electrical socket, and the oil bottle to prevent electric malfunction. 11. Use only the type C USB in the package to avoid damage to the diffuser. 12. When unplugging the USB, set your hand on the machine instead of pulling the cord directly. 13. Use only 1A power or above with the type C USB. The battery is not able to charge if anything under a 1A adapter is used. Setup. Ensure the machine is fully charged prior to first use. To begin, insert the Type-C USB cable to the power adapter socket and connect to the nearest power source. Next, remove the metal cover and styrofoam from the nozzle and extend the nozzle upwards to remove from the device. Please note, the styrofoam is not designed to be placed back into the diffuser. Insert the oil pipe located at the base of the nozzle into your micro oil bottle. Rotate the nozzle clockwise to secure. Reinsert the nozzle with the bottle securely attached into the device, ensuring that the nozzle air inlet is aligned to the nozzle indicator mark. Replace the metal cover back onto the device. Press the on off button to start the device. The element diffuser will now begin operation. Settings and features. With the Element Diffuser, you control the duration and intensity of every diffusion. Let's talk duration. With the on-off button, you can adjust the duration of each diffusion. Press the on-off button once to begin diffusing. The default runtime is one hour. For a longer runtime of two hours, press the on-off button a second time. For an even longer runtime of five hours, press the on-off button a third time. To switch the diffuser off, press the on-off button a fourth time. You can also control the intensity of each diffusion. Standard mode will automatically be selected when the element diffuser is turned on. This mode alternates between 10 seconds on of fragrance diffusion and 30 seconds off. At this setting, the diffuser operates at 33% power. If you're looking for something stronger, press the missed output button once to switch to boost mode. Boost mode has a diffusion setting of 60 seconds on, 10 seconds off. At this setting, the diffuser operates at 85% power. To return to standard diffusion mode, simply press the missed output button again. Maintenance. To ensure your diffuser functions optimally, engage in maintenance one to two times per week. 
When the micro oil bottle is empty, refill with rubbing alcohol. For best results, ensure the rubbing alcohol is under 75% in concentration. Next, plug in and turn on the element diffuser for five minutes. After five minutes, remove the bottle. Dip a cotton swab into rubbing alcohol and brush softly to clean the nozzle. Troubleshooting. Experiencing diffusion complications? We are here to help. No fragrance present. First, check the supply cable to ensure the device is connected to power and switched to on. If the battery is out of charge, fragrance diffusion will not occur. Weak diffusion. Check the sealing ring of the mist outlet tube to ensure it is not damaged. Further, inspect the oil pipe to confirm that it is not bent or blocked. To optimise diffusion, clean the diffuser nozzle. You can do this by taking apart the white diffuser head and cleaning with cold, soapy water. Still experiencing diffusion problems? Check the spray nozzle. If it appears loose, please tighten. If issues persist, please switch to the replacement nozzle. Oil leakage. Check the device to ensure it is not damaged or tilted. Check the atomizer and oil bottle to identify if these elements are screwed tightly in parallel with each other. If these features are loosely connected, tighten accordingly. Abnormal noise. Check that the pump is fitted correctly and reinstall if required. If issues persist, check the door of the machine to ensure it is both tight and locked. Alternatively, check the pump to confirm if there is low airflow or low pressure. Complete the above step to troubleshoot accordingly. For further assistance, please get in touch with our customer service team via email at help at sahome.com.au. We hope you love your scenting experience.